At Lewis and Clark's, it's just the best school in this area. The campus was beautiful. I knew that they had a really great reputation and I knew that they worked really hard in getting their students a job. Education isn't like many other professions where you get to practice all the time and then go in and do it. You just kind of get to do it. With internships, it really allows our uh, people to get a real sense of what it's like to be uh, in a modern school. During that first year, I dedicated myself to the fullest. I started out at a middle school, and then my second semester was at an alternative high school. Throughout that entire first year, I also did my practicum, which was my student teaching experience, and that was at an elementary level. So in that first year, I was at all three levels. Having Kim as an intern was a great opportunity for us. When you're that good and that skilled, you're in demand and people want you. I love sitting and watching her work one-on-one -on -one with kids because she just has such a good way of connecting with kids. I think I said to her like the first or second week, you've got kids telling you things that in most cases it would take them months to get to that point. My biggest concern was we would lose her and I think our district saw that um, that talent as well. They made it so she could stay with us by, by adding this additional piece, this opening. I was hired through my last year in graduate school as a part-time school counselor. Next year I will be in two buildings. I will be in this school, in the high school, and I will also be in the middle school. I will still perform the duties as a school counselor for my extra duties as far as, you know, what am I going to be involved in? What kind of programs am I going to be running? What kind of groups am I going to have? I really want to focus on getting our high school students to mentor our middle school students. I think it was so easy in the beginning uh, to get nervous about how I would come across in meeting with students. Mm -hmm. If sharing personal stories would be too much, if building those relationships needed to you know, start so far back. But working with Brandon, I learned quickly that you just kind of have to jump in and be yourself and students value and see that. There is research that would tell you that uh, a student relationship with, a, with an adult in a building is one of the most telling factors in whether or not the student will graduate. We want students to grow and flourish in ways that they feel most confident in. I could go on and on and on, um, about the role of a school counselor. That's because I love being a school counselor. It's a blast.